beach as well as going to Shoal Bay. So we're just going to Shoal Bay and we're going to take the kids there and have a bit of a swim and I think you can do some paddle boarding there too. So we're just gonna get the boat ready. Um, we had to charge the battery first and then after sand dunes we're gonna come back and pick up the boat and then take it to Shoal Bay where the others are. This is the entrance to Stockton Beach at Annan Bay and before coming here you need to stop at the BP nearby where you can buy a 3 day pass to get the permit to drive on this sand dunes. The pass costs about $30. Be sure to deflate your tyre to about 15 psi to 20 psi and you can always drive either on low range or high range but when I was driving it, it felt better driving it on low range although you can't go very fast on low range when you're gonna put it on 4 low make sure you stop and put it on neutral before engaging to 4 low and when you do put it on 4 low usually it'll turn off the traction control automatically so the speed limit in the sand dunes are 20 km an hour which is good for doing 4 low. When you're going on 4 high you can go over 30 km an hour but with the 4 low it's best to go below 30 km an hour. So when I'm driving 4 low I always have my diff lock on as well so that I don't get lost. A lot of people like to drive on 4 high because you can get more speed but I'm more comfortable with driving 4 low because the driving feels a lot better and smoother and you won't get bogged as much. Man the beauty of this sand dune is so amazing just looking at the blue water, the long sand and the beautiful sky. This is an experience that you'll always remember. It's such a beautiful day.
so whenever you're driving to the sand dunes remember to bring a recovery gear what you need is you need to bring some max tracks and a shovel so the things that you should not do is never do u-turns while you're driving in the sand you can always just reverse backwards and do a turn and go forward and do a turn never do a u-turn there's a possibility that you could either get bogged or flip the car It's always good to check cars along the side of the sand dunes and always keep an eye on kids running around. So in Stockton Beach you can do camping but there's designated camping site where you have to book. It costs about $30 a night and that's on top of your $30 per there are different allocated campsite and there's one where you can have your quad bikes We're in the sand dunes, drinking some beer, hanging out <laughs> Bit windy today After enjoying the beautiful sand dunes near the beach, we headed back and when you're driving back, make sure to watch out for any dips and ditch where you could get bog or your suspension can get damaged. When you're driving on sand, just hold the steering wheel nice and soft as the sand will let you steer for you. So once you reach the exit, don't forget to stop and inflate your tire so that you can go back to the right PSI for on-road use. And now we're heading back to Shoal Bay and then after that we're gonna go to Shoal Bay Country Club and enjoy some good music. Shaw Bay Country Club has pretty nice food and nice crowd as well and they play good music. It's a good place to bring your mates and have a few drinks and it gets pretty crowded at night. 
So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to 4x4 Jumpman and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.